when Master Evil comes to play. And Mama says that it's okay. Alex and Josh are stole away. And made to watch these movies. To stay alive until the day they Uh, I see you. Did you uh, did you get your note from uh, Master Evil too? What What do you mean you got a note? You get stuff? Yeah, it was uh, it was like taped to my chest when I woke up this morning. Uh, before you get, before you get, the gimp let me out of my bonds. Hold on, you have a gimp and you get tape? Well, that's what that's what his name is. He he's not an actual gimp. That's just he's his name. It's like the Rock. His name's the <laughs> Gimp. It's just a guy. Did he name himself the Gimp, or did he earn that name? Ask Master Evil next whenever he's back. Apparently, he said he said not to not to bother him to do tonight's episode without him. He's got a horrible movie lined up for us, and he's at a convention trying to unwind. So I don't know what kind of convention Evil Masters go to. Uh, Mama's Boy conventions, uh, stuff cat conventions, stuff cat <laughs> conventions, how to be My an stuff asshole, cat me. seminars. Oh, wait, that's a seminar. That's not a convention. Um, how to torture your prisoners psychologically. Yeah, how to reel them back in like an abusive boyfriend with a little bit of kindness and then just beat the living piss out of them by showing them more shitter films. Hey, at least he took his band of people with him. Have you not noticed the Rodeo Clown's not with you today? Nobody's here. Mother yeah. Evil's gone. Rodeo Clown's gone. I guess the gimp that I wasn't even aware of existed is with you, so all's well over there with you. I haven't told you about him before. No. I thought we went over that in episode 22. So I'm going to be full disclosure right here. Whenever we're doing, like, filming stuff, he, the lights just turn on, right? They just turn on. My eyes are still trying to adjust right now. Like a saw trap? Yeah. He doesn't, like, and even if he did give me a note, I probably did something that I wasn't supposed to, and it got sucked down the, the AC unit or the toilet or something. By, and I, by the way, I don't paper. have a toilet. No, I don't have a toilet. Yeah, he wrote the note on some toilet paper, and I flipped it. <laughs> <laughs> that bastard. Well, I do have the button here. Uh, you want to just find out what the movie is and get it over with? I would absolutely love to get back to the darkness as soon as possible, please. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. I'm getting a Trimark movie. Trimark stands for quality. Is that what it stands for? Yeah. Hey, Trimark again, in case you forgot the first thing. Bandai. Hey. B Bandai. They make Power Rangers. Yeah, they sure do. Sure do. Before Hasbro. <laughs> oh, God. Return Not of the Living Dead. Yes. Oh, Re fuck. Return three. of the Dying Franchise, part three. I thought it was the first one there for a second. I was just hoping it wasn't four or five, really. <laughs> Sarah Douglas. Dean James Douglas T. Callahan sounds cover. like a like a presidential candidate that doesn't make it past the primaries. He's the Howard, Howard Dean. It. He's the Howard Dean of this franchise. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Basil. Basil Wallace. Is, is that like some kind of famous actor or something that I don't know about? Uh, Barry Goldberg from the Goldbergs did the music. All right. Big taste. That's what he went on to do. Yeah. Big taste. Big taste man. No, but is the Basil guy like a famous guy? He got his own end there at the end, you know? He probably around this time did a lot of Red Shoe Diaries on Showtime. So, yeah, he was, oh, was semi-well-known. But the Carradine guy, yeah. <laughs> This, this guy's looks, got a camera on his shoe. <laughs> yeah, he's the first ever GoPro. Don't call me Shirley. This facility always looked to me like a cheap laser tag arena in a mall. Or a bunch of those, like, uh, big plastic boxes just stacked up in the hallways there, crates. 
there's and then there's like since that's a movie trope, all of a sudden someone's gonna be walking behind them with a pane of glass. <laughs> <laughs> Chickens will be running across in the back too. This guy's she like didn't. pulling an oxygen tank behind him. She didn't like that conversation. That, that she gave him the stink face for sure. Teach my kids to put me in a home. I'll blow the earth up. How old is this guy? Like 100? The guy in the front there? He's got to be close to retirement. At this point, he just wants to get this dead body reanimated and get on with his fucking day. He is over this job at this point. <laughs> uh, what oh. the chip reader? Yeah, ultimate security feature, Josh. The hotel card reader <laughs> that's available at every Comfort Inn in La Quinta. I don't know what they're going to do with this dead body, but dude walked in the door and started unbuttoning his jacket. That's all I know. <laughs> I don't know what they got planned. <laughs> he brings the dead body in there and starts undoing his fly. Everybody else out. <laughs> oh, wow. That, I want to be that cool one day. Is that Demi Moore as a teenager there? No, but I bet you those glasses that girl's wearing are the ones that you can see behind you that they used to come in the Kellogg's Raisin Bran boxes. <laughs> I ordered x-ray glasses one time from a comic book. Did you get them? No. They weren't, <laughs> I mean, I got them, but they weren't x-ray glasses. <laughs> they just sent you a pair of glasses that were at the, the factory. They were sunglasses. They had, like, little spirals on them. <laughs> the, well, her glasses were not red a second ago. I don't think so. Maybe I'm wrong. All right. Come back in the purple this time. Full disclosure. Of the, re of the girls that have been in the Return of the Living Dead franchise, Linnea Quigley was the hottest one until yes. now. Yep. This, this lady is fine. Oh, she pulls it off. Man. This movie is not what you expect it to be. Oh, he's a Boy Scout. Okay. I knew I liked the guy. I thought that she was going to wear that 90s hat as protection in case there was a motorcycle accident. Well, there uh, goes that. But going into another room, I guess the guy's going to start unbuttoning his pants this time. That dude is wearing the plutonium suit from Back to the Future. <laughs> it is. That's identical. That's the one that uh, Marty went into George's room and played Van Halen in George's ears. Darth Vader. Yeah. Why the hell did they dress him like that? It's like... Uh, the fifth, he's, he's like in the fifth element costume. No, I was going to say that. I, um, they, I, they must have accidentally sent over the average Joe's uh, dodgeball team's uniforms <laughs> to this top secret military facility. We're just the suspenders from the Oompa Loompas. <laughs> Not only is this zombie dead, but he's also a former submissive. Let's try to reanimate him and see what happens. <laughs> Hurry up, he's needed on the set of Jason Goes to Hell. Can, can, yeah, can you imagine <laughs> if the only thing you're dressed in, like, that covered your manhood was, like, a belt buckle? <laughs> <laughs> that would be highly uncomfortable. And the feeling this guy killed himself. Yeah. Oh, hell. Is that the, that's the Tar Man 3. That security clearance is high tech right there. <laughs> I'm going to see my dad. And who is your dad? You don't have a comfort in card. Get the hell out of here, kid. Give him 10 minutes. He's got a fresh dead body in there. He wants some <laughs> privacy. Oh, wait, I lied. He does have a comfort in card. Damn it. Needed to lick it. Man, lick it again now. I dare you. She's so good with her mouth that she can get into highly secure military. She better watch what she's doing with those lips. She can get into high, you know, highly top secret military facilities with those lips. She could have killed him right there. <laughs> See, that's what it looks like. A bunch of those crates are like the hallways. <laughs> no, those crates are like the U, the U storage ones where people move, but they're lazy as shit. And they don't want to finish moving. So uh, those people just leave those crates in their front yard for <laughs> months on end. <laughs> they get in a fight with their wife, end up sleeping in it. <laughs> yeah, move, uh, move at your own discretion. Is that just me? My bad. <laughs> Honey, you're not going. You're in the doghouse. Not only are you not actually going to the doghouse or the couch, you're going to the U-Haul storage container that you haven't unpacked because you're a lazy bastard. 
Don't worry, if he pulls a gun out, just lick it. World peace could be achieved with that tongue. Oh, right. If, he, if he's got clearance to go see his dad, then why is he having to sneak around when he actually gets inside? <laughs> I never even... You just ruined the movie for me right there. <laughs> I never thought about that. He, they let him in. They know who he is. Is he afraid he's going to get caught being there like he always is? God, just throw... That, did you see how easily he threw that entire leg in there with, like, one hand? No problem at all. That, that leg probably weighed, like, 30 pounds, 40 and pounds. They were on the Slim Fast diet. That guy is the strongest mortician ever. That guy right. has the Delta strain. Should have got vaccinated. Right, we're all but... set here. Take your pants off. He's going to take his tie off first. What, what, they were just... They were just looking in there a second ago. What they do? Stand up and be like, oh shit, let's keep watching. I don't know what they did. I'm, I'm a little lost on the security here. It's taken me out of the film, to be honest with you. Reanimated dead bodies? Yeah, I can believe that. This lacks the security? I don't think so. <laughs> Who the hell is the... Who's sketching the process here? Right. Whose job is that, and where do you get it? Do they how post did they, that? How did they drug and tie up Mitch McConnell so easily? I, this guy looks like the dude, Lieutenant Balzac, on Home Alone, who's eating the donut. <laughs> yes. He's like, does your son have anything uh, lodged in his throat? I hope not. It's a new zombie fogger. <laughs> It's Queen Mombi's Powder of Life. Tina Fey's first her her movie appearance there. <laughs> if they just sprayed that over his cock, would the would only the cock move? <laughs> <laughs> We're only choosing to reanimate his penis today. We we don't want our things to get out of hand. Oh God. See, that guy's down below him there giving him some fun. He's just enjoying it. You guys took his jacket off earlier. <laughs> so he's a zombie, right? He's dead, and he's reanimated. But why Why can't he talk? I mean, <laughs> the other zombie, like, he, what's going on here? Why did he look like a zombie uh, before he was... Turned like brought back to life. He didn't look like a corpse. He looked like a zombie. Yeah, I mean, this is that, this looks does like that make the sense. Third, no, it doesn't. It looks like the third time they've reanimated him. Because, exactly. They just keep killing him and bringing him back. Yeah, this guy is like having a hell of a day. Now they're gonna drink him. He needs some brains, man. He's he's hangry as hell. Mitch is like, okay, I'll get rid of the filibuster. Direct that hit. Was, that was a delayed reaction to him being shot. It's like five seconds later. <gasps> <laughs> we did it. We shot a zombie in the head. All we had to do was tie it up and shoot. <laughs> that guy's like, you got it. Thumbs up. They, they pulled a trigger and a thing came out. Man, she's, like, really enjoying this situation. That guy's like, that sounds like a skull and crossbones medallion fell somewhere. No, that guy's thinking, that son of a bitch security guard better not let people in again without clearance. <laughs> or else <laughs> I'm going to write him up. Three strikes and that guy's done. <laughs> I'm going to have to talk to that security guard out there. This is getting ridiculous. Some terrorists show up. Uh, we're here to see our dad. <laughs> that way I'm here to see my dad <laughs> we should try to break into somewhere and just me and you just be like we're here to see our dad <laughs> that way all we have to do is get our enemies to be tied up in place where they can't move and we can shoot them every time warfare is advanced by 100 years
Yeah. Some of us tied him up and one of us shot him. <laughs> Don't forget the guy who put the leather strap over his penis. He also <laughs> helped a lot, too. Yeah, Paul's over in the corner. I did that. <laughs> did you like you the little that's... penis cover slash suspenders I invented? Okay. Why, why did he have to take the mouth guard out? To, and what an idiot. That old guy's like, I picked the wrong day to quit smoking cigarettes. Backstabbing zombie? What the hell? I guess eating someone isn't enough. Now they gotta, like, be slashers too? That zombie is actually pretty tall. Like, he's got to be like 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, Isn't he the one that played Tar Man? They let him come back for the third movie? I don't know if that is him or not. Is it? I heard something like that. The guy that played Tar Man was in the, this movie somewhere. He was in the first one, and then he also reprised his role as Tar Man in part two. He was the one that uh, the kid saw down in the sewer. I don't know if he came back for three. That'd be a great question. Maybe they the should answer. keep a gun that doesn't need to be hooked up to CO2 or something, you know? Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. This gun <laughs> here, it's like, Give this me another like a this is like a musket in, like, the Civil War. Oh, we've got to prime this son of a bitch, and then we got to put the CO2 in here. All right, hook up another hose. Hurry. <laughs> the last one held him for, like, a minute and a half. So you got a minute and a half. You better get out of there. And keep that penis covered. <laughs> you just took my strap is cocked out now. <laughs> car problem. You think we got problems now? If that cock gets loose, all hell could break loose. And whatever you do, just, just don't stick your fingers in his mouth. Man, that guy is having the worst day ever. It's his first day on the job, just getting trained. Yeah, he hadn't even finished his paperwork yet. He's not even enrolled for a 401k yet. He, he, did, he didn't get to watch the video yet about, you know, zombie safety. Don't stick your fingers in their damn mouth. And if it was day two, this wouldn't have happened. That zombie's head was pushed into the guy's Johnson. These people. <laughs> They haven't lifted one finger to help. They're just sitting there watching, just waiting, like watching a train wreck. I love it. Well, hold on one sec for you. They just put the alarm bell on. There was another guy who had his fingers bit off and is dead, who's now the zombie, and they didn't even ring the alarm bell yet. At that point, now they do it? Oh, these zombies we've been researching for a few years since the first incident. You know how they would bite people and they would turn? Why didn't we write that down? <laughs> Paul, you didn't tie it down hard enough, buddy. This franchise as a whole has the worst record of military fuck-ups. In part two, the guy's smoking the joint while driving down the road, and then the barrel drops out into the sewer. <laughs> part, part one, they somehow lost the barrels, and they ended up in a a box warehouse. I had no clue how that happened. And then in this one, they don't they just let anybody in the facility. Anybody. Oh hold that thought because uh the plot is getting advanced really big here. Well, I hope he used protection, Josh. I hope he at least tied his cock down with a piece of leather. This this is so important to the story moving forward. Yes, it is, Josh. Will you just pipe down over there? Like he's he screamed. He he had a thing in his mouth. Okay, that's that's some nice bedtime talk right there. Oh, hold on, I'm distracted. <laughs> She's like, ever since we saw that zombie get reanimated, I just can't get off without thinking of him. About how that bullet went through his head. Did he feel it or not? Or did he not feel anything? Like I didn't feel anything a minute ago. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boy, 
Well, I went to see my dad, and I never got to actually see him. That's just my excuse for getting into top secret military bases. Yeah, I don't. I didn't actually want to see him. I just wanted to bring my girlfriend there to see a corpse reanimated, so she could become highly conflicted about her existence and her own sexuality. What did that mean? She's like, you don't need your dad. You have me. Was his dad filling his sexual needs before she came along? Oh man! What, what, what the hell? Did, what the hell does that mean? Does that even mean? Now that I found you, my dad's I don't have to here. Hurry! Yeah, He's I don't have break to sleep. up with my, me. My dad's gonna get so jealous. <laughs> Put your freaking shirt on. Yes, sir. Don't fool me with that bullshit. Look at you. I heard you came to see me tonight and you didn't even say hello. <laughs> <laughs> my top-notch security guard that I hired myself informed me that you entered the facility with, with a guest. Could it be that harlot behind you, son? That, that you're, you're cheating trying on to me replace with? me with? <laughs> yeah, that you're cheating on me with, you dirtbag. All right, son. <laughs> Lay down on my counseling couch I have right there. <laughs> I need to talk to you about our sex life. Uh, our cock tire now to quit his job. We need a replacement. <laughs> You've been saying you wanted money to buy a car. <laughs> Here's your big opportunity. We just got here half a year ago. I'm just now getting all my stuff moved in. Why are they um, transferring him? Because he <laughs> fucked up with the reanimation process? Yes. There was a lot riding on that one experiment. Yeah, and if, if you fail at that military, you get sent to Oklahoma City. <laughs> you will remain a hero and be promoted if this zombie stays dead. But if it doesn't, and it bites off the fingers of your <laughs> comrades, you will be transferred immediately to Oklahoma. <laughs> Oklahoma. Oklahoma, where the rain goes, comes in on the plains. Yeah, I'm gonna stay I here can't. with my big-eyed girlfriend. Yeah, I can't go to Oklahoma, Dad. I've got some sweet strange I've been nailing. Why does he have to go anyway? He the kid. He looks like he's twenty seven years old. <laughs> That's what, I was about to say. what the hell does he have to go with his dad for? Get a job at McDonald's and ride your motorcycle and bang your hot girlfriend. Why do you got to go anywhere? I've got friends here, Dad, and the rest of my seventh grade class needs me there. <laughs> God. Plus, it's a bitch to have my AARP card transferred from city to city. Dad, I finally found a girl that has eyes just as big as mine. Are we sure that it's his dad and not his brother? <laughs> that age seem, that age discrepancy seems a little closer. Me and you. Oh, well, Curtis, do you think that zombie felt anything? Did you tell your dad we're just friends? Hey, you better watch out. His dad is a highly trained cock strapper downer. He knows what he's doing with those hands. <laughs> Listen, young man, you better take that tramp out of here before I strap both your cocks down. Uh, wait, dad, wait, females what? don't have cocks. Gee, do you think we should have grabbed the helmets on the way out? Nah, we're good. <laughs> This scene is already going poorly. <laughs> is she a murderer? I think she's a murderer. She's going to murder him with an old fashioned. <laughs> what a way to go out. She had her uh, jacket on backwards and she was just fine. So he tried to turn her head back around the right way. Man. And he's totally fine. 
Hell yeah. And the, the truck driver's just like, on his way. It's a normal occurrence. And the truck driver's like, fuck that. I got to get out of here. I got to I gotta stop to make it in Oklahoma City. God damn it. That's the seventh uh, motorcycle <laughs> I've ran off the road tonight. That's, a, that's, a, that's the eighth person I've killed by accident tonight. I'm going to get transferred to Oklahoma City. I just know it. <laughs> Out of control, Man. Curtis. Out of control, Curtis. Her brain would be, or like, her head would be smashed on that light pole. There wouldn't just be a little trickle of movie blood hanging out of her mouth. It, it's like she went flying into it and stopped right before it and just kind of tapped it just enough, yeah. you know? It's ridiculous. Her face would be just obliterated on that light pole. Reminds me of you ever seen Orgasmo? Yeah, oh yeah. Where the where the where the, the uh, sushi bar guy gets beat up and all these guys that little trickle of blood. Yeah. <laughs> you bastards. <laughs> they needed to spend more money on cocks being strapped down in the budget. They didn't have enough money for fake movie blood. <gasps> the comfort in. Room G seventeen. Yeah, but... Damn it. Ooh, I bet I can sell her to that guy from the compound. That, you know, the dead bodies and unbuttoning his shirt. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's coming full circle here. I pledge allegiance to the card. I'm here to see my dad. <laughs> he did. <laughs> She's dead on the back of the motorbike. He didn't even check. She's <laughs> fucking dead. Weekend at <laughs> weekend at Julie's. Gosh, she's dead back there. I know he's like, me and my dead girlfriend are here to see my dad. Go ahead. That's, that security card is worthless. <laughs> Dude, why does it look like he was going uphill in that camera shot? Probably was. It looked like he's, he was going up on a treadmill that was like in, like on incline. Just being in this movie is an uphill, uphill climb for him. <laughs> Oh, what, so, what, what, what are they testing here? Wait a second. They, they want to shoot him in the brain to stop him, yet a severed arm is still working. I mean, what, what's, what's going what, on in this place? But hold on. What, what is she testing? That, that looked like, an epi that looked like a, the hostel where they, like, they get to pick what weapon they want to murder somebody <laughs> with. What the hell does a Makita have to do with a severed limb? She's building a new sex toy. Yeah, she's like, if I want the ultimate old-fashioned, I must build it, because it doesn't exist yet. If I build it, I will come. <laughs> this guy is the strongest person ever. Have you ever tried to pick up a dead weight like a human being? That is not easy. Oh, he was carrying her just fine a second ago, and now he's, like, struggling. <laughs> yeah. Good old fireman's carry. Yeah, nobody's going to see this turning on the other side of the door as long as I do it slow and quiet. It doesn't even look like a door handle. That looks like uh, what you roll up a hose on and they just spray painted it gray. Is he on a ship or something? I mean, what's up with this compound? Uh, and I there's all the ra uh, CB radio and stuff. There. I was just going to say that. All right. I got to strap her down in a teeny tiny little... Suspender set. That's Ernie Hudson's son right there. That's what I was about to say. No, he just looks like Ernie Hudson to me. Yeah. I'm afraid no zombie. Do -do 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 -do. So I gotta put this outfit on, be really inept at everything I do, shoot her in the head and stick my finger down her throat. That'll bring her back. All these people working in this facility got their degree online at University of Phoenix. Oh, I got my strength built up from turning all those door things. Why does he have... Okay, this is a highly secure mil military-grade facility, and he's wearing gloves that my grandma used to wear to wash dishes. Like scrubbing bubble shit. Yeah, those are, those are the gloves that the lady wore on You Can't Do That on Television in every scene. Tiny bubbles in the trioxin. There was holes that ripped in the in the foot part of his pants. There, did you see that? No. 
Yeah, there was a big old hole ripped in the bottom of the shoe part. <laughs> he is so infected right now. <laughs> oh, he's screwed. Looks like they've done like 20 takes or something at this point. What is this guy doing? Is he debating raping her right now? I don't understand what's going on here. He's like, if you don't start moving at least a little bit, I can't do what I want to do. Yeah, this, this could be borderline questionable if you don't move a little. Oh, she's twitching. Now's the time. Oh, it's him. It's our, it's our hero. Can you go, go to Oklahoma City? I so take he's... back everything I said negatively about him. That's our hero. He's the protagonist. Yeah. He's a moron. He rides motorcycles without a helmet. He gets hand jobs while also riding said motorcycle. And drives he, in the wrong lane. Yeah, he killed his girlfriend. Let's be 100% honest. He killed her. Okay, so you wore the mask whenever you released the gas that brought her back to life. But let's just go ahead and kiss her right after she was sprayed with it. That'll. Yeah, that's, there's got to be some residual trioxin on those <laughs> lips of hers. Oh, I got a message from Master Evil. Everything going well for him at the convention? Yeah. It's just some generic thing here. Having fun at the convention. Wish he was here. <laughs> wow. So, oh, that was for the gimp. My bad. Oh, uh, okay. Do, so when he sends you messages, is it all roaming charges? Because when yeah, I had a cell phone for a little bit, yeah, it was all roaming. And it's on a 2003 Nokia phone. Oh, wow. Do you have Snake, though? Yes, yes, yes. It's actually yeah. called Worm. I only You're get to play it halfway. Damn, you're living the good life over there. Okay. <laughs> so this zombie's like just crawling against the wall to stay out of sight. Yeah, he's, he, the zombie is aware enough that he wants to stay out of camera's view. He's pressed up against the wall, just sneaking around the corner. Did that body evaporate? What happened? So this is Tar Man number three. He found something funny. Why does he sound like a putty from Power that's, Rangers? That's <laughs> Rita sent him down. Yeah. They are teenagers with attitude. <laughs> no, it's not, Julie. <laughs> It's not going to be okay. You pissed your pants. <laughs> well, well, technically, you're almost there, Josh. She's dead, so yeah, she, she really shit her pants. Yeah. yeah, she's walking around with like a full, full short set of shit right now. Yeah, those those little Daisy Duke cutoffs she's wearing, those are filled with uh, fecal matter. It's morphing time. Wait, why is he attacking her? She's a zombie. Mastodon, Triceratops, tri <laughs> Trioxin. Trioxin. <laughs> it wasn't me. It was the one-armed zombie. <laughs> yeah, that zombie of all the one. He, this guy's worthless. Look at him. He's falling apart. This guy, is this guy just walking around reacting to every noise he hears and just moving on? And why is that is his, his job? Why is his undershirt red? Like he's he's in mili he's not tucked in or this guy is the sloppiest. He's a minimum security guard. That's what he is. He's a rent a cop. <laughs> I'm here for my dad. It's okay. <laughs> okay, so he heard every other little noise, but he didn't hear the zombie that's going <laughs> all the way to him. Like, what did he just rip off? There's nothing. His face was completely untouched. It was just like a thing of like fruit roll up laying there on top of him or something. Wait a minute. Who set the alarm off? The guy who found the mount was dead. It's all my dad, thanks. What is he eating? The dude is completely unscathed on the face there. Pat Patterson there it hasn't moved since earlier. He's still in the same room. There's Gerald Briscoe, Pat Patterson, and Bruce Pritchard. <laughs> Zod there from uh, Man of Steel. Wait a minute. So his son took off, ran away because he was being transferred to Oklahoma City. 
Now, right after this happened, he goes back to work and gets in full uniform again and goes back, yep. like, goes back to work? He's do doing everything he can to not get sent to Oklahoma City, bro. Okay, or maybe he's doing everything he can to get transferred because he actually went back, you know, to show that he's resilient. Was she asleep on the floor? She just kind of, like, rose up from the floor behind him a second ago and started talking. <laughs> she did the old eighth grade science teacher trick where she pretends there's an elevator behind the, <laughs> the lab. And then he's off to Oklahoma City or Tulsa. You know that older military guy, the one who, who's in charge right there that you were asking how old he is? He doesn't even get his hair cut uh, military style anymore. That's how much he's checked out. Too old for this shit. Fire me. <laughs> get rid of me. Fire me. Do it. I mean, you do, but that's because you shit yourself. Yeah, you literally smell like riches full of feces. I need to find a store with no people. Who's going to be looking for you? The, there's no internet back when this movie was made. There's, there's nothing. So that store's for rent? Or the cigarettes are? I don't know, but he doesn't like the looks of these guys at this game right now. I can tell you that much. Gamesters. Can't stand those gamesters. That looks like that could be his daughter. That's... Essa. Yeah, and he's trying to get to level 8 now. Okay. What is level 7 on Street Fighter? They're playing Street Fighter. I have eyes. I need to rent some cigarettes, please. <laughs> I need to rent a few Lucy's. This is the most oddly set up convenience store I've ever seen. <laughs> no, I don't want you to eat all that. you get the perfect figure right now. You're going to ruin it. He's not even playing. It was on the opening screen. Did you see that? Look, <laughs> he's not playing anything. <laughs> He's, level 7 is like just getting the seventh letter of his name put in. He No, he's not putting his name in because he hasn't played shit to put <laughs> his name in. He's on level 7, the seventh line. He's learning to read still. Give him the break. No wonder the guy who owns the store is so pissed. Dude. They're not even putting quarters in the machine. They're just standing there. Pretending like they got to level 7. <laughs> It's like when I was a kid and my mom, I was like five years old and my brother was 10 and we were playing Mike Tyson's Punch-Out and I wanted to play, but it's a one-player game. So my mom's like, hey, let your little brother play. So he pretended like it was two-player. So I'm like, mom, I'm, I'm pressing A and B, but it's doing nothing. We, I, he had me convinced I was playing against him for like an hour. <laughs> Take this outside. <laughs> oh. Damn it, I was on level nine. <laughs> they, they, they could say they were on level 18. It's all lies anyway. He just put the opened Twinkies and stuff back on the shelf. And then he took them back. <laughs> what the hell's for rent? I want to know what's for rent. <laughs> if it was the store, it would be in the window. Mark? That guy's name is Mark? You know what I was guess for so. rent? You know what was for rent? If you wanted to actually get the convenience store uh, experience, you could you could rent a spot behind the counter and work for him for free. <laughs> like if you really wanted to know what it felt like to be a clerk, he'll offer you that opportunity. Opportunity. I was gonna make it to level nine until we shot that guy. Yeah, we had to kill that guy. Now let's get out of here, Esta. Oh, I kicked him right in the Kool Aid packet. He kicked him in the bullet wound. What a fucking dick. I know. Oh. Bite me. Poor choice of words. <laughs> what is that going to do? Take that, you motorcycle. Yeah. We don't, we don't like your kind around here. Two wheels. And your vroom vroom. <laughs> Shot and kick that bike. You see that? What should we do with a mess? I say we let them go. <laughs> Shit. 
they, they, they shot it. And it's only weakness getting shot in a non engine part and kicked over. Yeah, they shot him in the. Listen, what what's the worst that could possibly happen? I mean, you've already crashed that bike earlier and killed her. This guy's getting around pretty good for getting shot in the gut. Here come the Keystone cops. <laughs> That, so the van, the name of the store is Nathan's Liquor. No, it was I'm Mark's, not, Mark's, Mark's Liquor. Mark's Liquor. So I'm not saying one way or the other what somebody's name should be, but he just does not look like a Mark to me. <laughs> I was about to say Mark's having a bad night. Yeah. I you want to visit back. him, you got to let the security guard know on the way out. Yeah, Josh, you want to see my that, son. <laughs> that, guy, that, guy is, that guy is also wearing a red undershirt. They're the, I guess they're that the red is shirts. Uh, yeah, that's the uniform, I guess. And what you just said was hilarious. I'm going to go <laughs> see my son. <laughs> you can go. <laughs> I got to get out of here. I'm going to go see my son. Oh, my God, Josh. <laughs> that's what I do whenever I'm hungry. I just start gouging myself with knives and pointy things. That's the step up. Hey, that's the step up from the rubber band when you snap it and if you have like a craving for a cigarette. <laughs> I'll go with you. Poor Mark, man. Oh, man. Mark has had a hell of a day. <laughs> he just wanted he just wanted those fucking gang members to actually pay for Street Fighter instead of stand in front of it and pretend like they're playing. Or rent some cigarettes. Rent some cigarettes, actually pay for the 12 packs of snowballs Julie took. He's a, he's a simple man with simple desires. He was. <laughs> you, he didn't see that until he got to it. It was obviously a, a fence, but he kept driving to it. And then he's like, damn it, it's a dead end. Or, you know, going down on that guy. Yeah, Julie, are you? Are you? I, sh I knew I should have. I knew I should have strapped his penis down. It's kind of obvious what she's doing. If I see somebody eating a busted open head and they're eating the brains, I don't need to ask what they're doing. I can see it. What did they do? Drive down a little ways and figure out that they weren't following the van anymore? <laughs> oh, foiled again. They're back there in the alley. Poindexter there. Yeah, I know. They hired the guy to play the cop that looks the least like a cop. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a math teacher. He works for craft services, and they didn't have enough money to pay for someone to play this role. So they're like, uh, hey, when you're done putting that buffet out, get in this uniform. You're going to be a cop tonight, buddy. Please, Nathaniel. Mm. What is <laughs> I, just, I have no words for this other cop here. His little <laughs> squat walk. <laughs> what's looks... with nobody? What's with nobody in a position of like power having a decent haircut? Mark is getting his revenge, by God. Hey, you're supposed to pay before you eat. <laughs> yeah, shoot the guy whose scalp is missing. <laughs> Mark, Mark, Mark got shot in the chest, then or shot in the stomach, then kicked in the stomach, then he got his head blown off. <laughs> then he had his brains eaten out. Now he's a zombie. He's eating the worthless cop's body. And then he got shot more times in the chest, and now he's going to get hit with the freeze ray. They got, they got the hose with him and everything, man. <laughs> this all happened. This all happened to Mark within the last five minutes. I know. Poor, I'm telling you. This is, he just bought the place, too, or started to rent it. Yeah, he hasn't even paid off 
He hasn't even paid it off yet, man. Here it comes the like world's most bad. yeah. Here comes the world's worst general and, and an even worse father. Oh, they're really gonna send me to Oklahoma City now. Yeah. Just a trail of death wherever his son goes in the city. Was he contemplating things, walking around with his hands in his pocket, going for a little leisurely stroll? There's another damn red undershirt! Did you say make it a circle jerk, sir? <laughs> circle search? My bad. I want this place roped off. I want every inch of mile squ mapped out and squared away. Any cock that's loose, I need it strapped down! Oh, the Ninja Turtles are getting involved. Whoa, dude! <laughs> what, totally tubular! We're not she has no heartbeat! <laughs> We're not supposed to be in a shitty movie till the third one! Oh wait, this is the third one of this franchise! Whoa! <laughs> right, she's over there eating something. Hey, where's Splinter? April O'Neil got a whole lot sexier and a whole lot more <laughs> dead. Spiral. It, it's, it's a Saw movie. It's a prequel. That thing is just a tetanus trap waiting to happen. I gotta say, I, I do enjoy this movie. But I, until tonight, I never realized just how bad it actually is. I, I have a special place in my heart. Master Evil screwed up here. I actually enjoy this movie. It's cheesy as hell. And the, the special effects aren't very good. Uh, but that being said, it, it's the first one I ever saw in the franchise because it was on Showtime when I was a kid, like, every day. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Every day. It's the only one they had at my local gas station where they rented movies. It's the only Return of the Living Dead they had. So I rented it a lot. So you were, like, which was great because when you actually got to see the first one, your mind was probably absolutely blown. Yeah. <laughs> That's like starting it's, off the Nightmare on Elm Street for, uh, series with the dream child. He's like, you're disgusting. Not because you ate that guy's brains, but God, can you not change your fucking shorts? You've been dead for two hours, babe. Yeah, I think we have bigger problems than you, you, the fact that you're still hungry. We need you to get, we need to get some new britches on you, stat. <laughs> Julie, here, put these pants on, please. What, he already lost her? She walked off, like, ten feet in front of him. His hair looked like a golfing hat. He's got Lego hair. Oh, it's, I bet that's Bismol, or whatever his name is. Uh, Basil. Bismol. That's our, that's our star, folks. That's the hero shot right there. And Basil. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to kill myself more. Julie, don't do it. You're going to get wet and inconvenienced. <laughs> actually, I'd be asking her to do it because that's running water and it might actually clean her asshole out. Right. It needs a good rinse at this point. Go away. I can't find any more pants. I'm sorry. For what? No, I'm sorry. Oh, God. Oh. Shaun of the Dead reference for anybody not following along. What they need to do is head to the oh, old Winchester. They need to go to the old Winchester <laughs> and figure everything out from there. That's step one. Over a, over a pint. There's no clean pants. The, yeah, that was definitely a human body falling in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> That was definitely, definitely a real stunt person there. What the hell is he doing? He's there's going no, down the bat pole. <laughs> there's no, yeah, there's no other way to get down there other than to risk his own death. Listen, dude, she doesn't want to be with you anymore. Get over it. Like when a girl, it's listen, like when ankle a girl, deep. When a girl jumps off a freaking side of a like a bridge into like ankle deep water, it's over, man. <laughs> How did that wash her away like it was like six feet deep and running fast? It's like not even two inches deep. 
I don't and know. It, like, man. washed her away. Where the hell was that running water when I was a kid and the Muppets and uh, Muppet Treasure Island toys came out of McDonald's, man? I would have had a <laughs> blast with that. Except for the boss of level nine. I got bit in the fucking arm, asshole. Think you'd be Cheerios after that? I thought Carlito didn't feel good, man, because uh, level nine, he had it in his grasp, yo. And we got it ripped away. Her phone number. Bitch rabies, man. I hate bitch rabies. Way worse than nice person rabies. Yeah. Turn on the GPS. Oh, yeah. That's the best. That's the best uh, plan of action right now. Uh, instead of taking your good friend to the hospital to be checked out, you're going to go try to get revenge on the Essa who bit him. And that guy said there's only one way out of that alley, the sewer. There was a fence they literally could have climbed over. <laughs> or, I mean, they could have got on the highway. They could be halfway to Oklahoma by now. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. She had to go through the sewer. Wait a minute. How, How do you know? Are... Just trust me, I know. How the hell are they walking in that water when that water was strong enough to whisk her body away? <laughs> How are they just walking through it like it's a puddle now? When she fell in it, her body was like on its side, half submerged. You know, like two face down the middle. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she's worse. She's a lot of worse for the wear right now, man. But somebody still told the story somehow. <laughs> That's what you always want when you're when your dead reanimated girlfriend just jumped off a bridge. Uh, to her death, her third death of the movie. <laughs> then you have a random homeless guy show up to scare the shit out of you even more with crazy stories. Exactly. Well, Dorothy's met the scarecrow, so we're off to a start here. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the Tin Man and the Cowardly Lion? We're off to see Julie, the wonderful corpse of <laughs> Oz, of Oklahoma, the wonderful corpse of Oklahoma. <laughs> Julie, because, Julie. Because, because, oh, oh, thank God the water cleaned you. No, oh, no, you don't understand, man. She's a Kryptonian. So Julie's, Ju he's right. Julie's not dead. She's not unconscious. She's reanimated. So Why is she breathing and spitting water up? That's what she's, I was about to say. How are her right? lungs even popping at this point? Josh, she's just pretending. She's being a bitch. She, she's dead. Her, her, she's just pretending like she's not conscious. Exactly. That's her being passive aggressive and a bitch. She made that choice. That's rude. I'm in a shitty movie. <laughs> What's happening to me? I need a nose trimmer. Well, if you're lonely, maybe you should jump off less bridges. Because uh, I, I didn't want you to do it in the first place. We could have absolutely avoided this entire situation. Wish my sister hadn't talked me into that permanent lipstick. I wish I had never met you on Plenty of Fish. <laughs> oh my god, those people tracked them down so fast and so easy. Well, they better be careful. They're right next to a raging river. <laughs> two inch, two inch raging river. And they're just gonna whisk that car away. Wait a minute, that water was just raging, seriously raging, like two seconds ago. Now it's as calm as a lake. How Not did a... she get washed up on top of that thing? Is my question. I'm lost, man. I didn't kill my wife. <laughs> I don't care. We could Does that possibly... guy have something stuck up his ass or what? What's he walking like that for? I don't know. Everybody's got swamp ass in this movie at this point. This guy looks like he's constipated the whole time. Every time we see him. <laughs> Why 
What a horrible time for my son to breach security at my own facility, especially when I have to take a shit. <laughs> What the hell? That lady was just in the office with them. How did she get out of the car? And wasn't she the one working on the zombie arm with the Makita? <laughs> this lady is all over the place. That guy's got a red shirt on underneath. That's what I said. I said that. Plus, he told the security guard he was coming to see me. I need a hose, a really long one. How about how far away he is? Well, he better bring more than, yeah, he better bring as many extra soldiers as possible because it takes forever to load that thing. All right, and we're about to meet the tin man, right? Oh, there, there's a munchkin hanging himself back there. Oh, wait, that was just the director, my bad. Yeah, the director's like, well, it was either... It was either Red Shoe Diaries, another one of those, or this. Man, Josh, I'm telling you, Red Shoe Diaries, if I could somehow, when I was a kid, you know, if, if I could make a viewing of that happen when I was around 11 or 12, man, I would definitely try my best. <laughs> Why are they crouched over? The ceiling is like four feet above their heads. <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of weird things. Why was that guy, have a, why did he have a for rent sign? Why was the water raging? Why was it not raging? Why were they playing the video game, but not playing it? Uh, we made it. Where are we? Oklahoma City. God yeah. damn it. Uh, all roads lead to Oklahoma City. <laughs> Duct tapes and screwdrivers. They'd never... Listen, I'm going on record. Those guys would never find them in there. If, if, he, if you needed a tool to get in there, and it's just the sewer where Riverman knows where it is, they're not going to find him. This is a... <laughs> this is the director's cut. I mean, what, what, what has there been in this movie so far that had to be cut from the original version? <laughs> Ten minutes of, of extra boredom. <laughs> I thought for a second he was going to hook up that clamp to, her, to his <laughs> dick or her nipples. I don't know what he was doing. She needs a, she needs a jump start, buddy. The only way, the only, her battery must be dead. We got a jump starter. She's got a dead cell. <laughs> Boy, is she going to eat me? I have a feeling she's going to eat me at some point. The bad kind. Hey, it is Ninja Turtles. It's the Rat King. Well, let me tell you the story. There were four baby turtles. <laughs> There's no way they can track me down. Seriously, Josh, this is before GPS. This is before Garmin's. This is before navigational systems. There's no cell phones. Like, the only place that has cameras are probably the shitty old ATM machines that were first introduced around this time. <laughs> They're not getting caught. People have roadmaps at this point and CB radios. What? Yes. Joining a band when you don't know how to play an instrument? No, that's <laughs> genius, son. He's all, yes, it does sound stupid. Well, I did not think of that. I wouldn't be a homeless, scary dude walking the sewers. He's all... That dream of yours of being a musician when you don't know how to play any instruments led you to the sewer with a dead girlfriend. Yes, that plan was great. He's in the sewer. It must be a pipe dream. Oh, man. He might as dad, well... dad joke's not allowed here. <laughs> hey, speaking of pipe dreams, since they're down there in a pipe, they might as well warp their ass to Oklahoma City while they're at it right now and get out of this situation. Is that dude taking a crap right in front of him? The way his face was. <laughs> yeah, he does look like the dad on Friday right now. <laughs> you better become a dog catcher. I ain't trying to catch no dogs. Why not? 
Why does the beauty of it. our protagonist's th- little cuts on his forehead keep going from like scab to wet to scab to wet? It's like he's picking at him in between shots or something. Well, first of all, they've established from the first scene that continuity is not going to be a thing with this movie. Yeah, just the actors keep changing. That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> they switch it. No, they switch out switch. one of the main characters with somebody else and then they go back. Like, remember on cartoon shows when we were kids and, like, every once in a while they'd have somebody else do a voice of yeah. one of the main characters and expect us not to notice? Like Peter Venkman on The Real Ghostbusters. Oh, yeah. Or Donatello on Ninja <laughs> Turtles. Every once in a while would switch voices. Or they'll do an Always Sunny and a couple of the actors in the movie swap, swap roles halfway through the movie. You know, That's, like in yeah. the Lethal Weapon That's, 6. <laughs> That would be great. All of a sudden, that old dude is playing the protagonist for a scene. Yeah, the river man is all of a sudden his dad. (laughs) What the... Are are our protagonists leaving breadcrumbs behind or something? I mean... I don't don't know. And then also, their friend is dying. This guy is dying. I, I know how they're tracking her. The smell of her britches. Oh, for sure. For yeah. sure. Yeah. Actually, she's good She's been call. dead this whole time, so she's been releasing everything. That second guy looks way too happy to be in the sewers. <laughs> yeah, I know. He, he's actually the one who, this was his bright idea to follow them, wasn't it? Or was it the main guy, the main bad guy? Is she dead or just needing a fix really bad? Well, it, it, she's dead, so how is she feeling? I mean, I understand that they're like, oh, they need brains, blah, 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 but she's, like, shaky. That's, like, a very human response there. Yeah, she's, uh, her nerves seem shot. She needs a cup of coffee, man, or a Klondike bar. What would you do? <laughs> For human brains. <laughs> Would you, I would beat Street Fighter level 7. I would rent cigarettes. Man, speaking of street, <laughs> rent cigarettes. Speaking of Street Fighter, when I was a kid, I could breeze through the first three or four characters, and then as soon as you get to like the fifth or sixth guy, you're losing. It doesn't matter what happens. They're going to make you put another quarter in. <laughs> you're going to lose because Ryu is just going to do dragon punches, uppercuts at you, and throw fireballs at you until you're dead. Yep. Scream shit at you, you don't know what they're saying. I'm tired of pretending that I don't love you anymore. And full of regret for doing this movie. I don't know that she was ever, like, she was a so the lady who played Julie was a soap opera actress. Um, I don't know that I ever saw her in anything else, like, movie-wise, ever again. Okay, I gotta say, some of this, like, puncture shit, uh, pretty uh, pretty legit, huh? Yeah, they did good on it. Yeah, it's right here, that's pretty good, that looks pretty real. This might be some of the director's cut stuff here. That looks legit, like pretty flawless uh i can't see the cut or that's a prosthetic that's actual you know practical effects right there honey are you jabbing something into the palm of your hand no no i'm good just contemplating life and stuff but but kurt that was so so cool what you did earlier when you made that security guard think i wasn't dead when i was on the back of the bicycle motorcycle good idea good thinking So he's in this situation with his dead girlfriend. And he's had all these horrible things go on. He knows she's dead, and now he, now he's sticking with his dick. Okay, and she was just eating human brains not 15 minutes ago. This is exactly why, Josh, they need to strap his dick down, because he, like, obviously can't think straight at all, ever. Is he, is he going to need lube at this point? I mean, he's kind of cold packing, right? I don't know, man. He's This is going to end badly. He's either getting an old-fashioned with a freaking piece of glass through her hand, or he's going to get the worst case of genie weenie ever uh, by genie dry weenie. humping. Yeah, genie weenie for dry humping, and his dick is going to look like a paint by numbers.
Is, is he like dragging like a giant hose behind him for that gun? Is it like like a thousand feet long or something still hooked up back at the alley? Did you notice that all those lackeys were trotting in step together? Yes. <laughs> left, right, left, right, left, right. They're the winged monkeys. <laughs> they were they were the actual putties of the film. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Is she actually doing this or fantasizing about doing it? It's not really clear at this point. No, I think she's actually doing it. I know. I'm just saying. This looks like uh, she's preparing to fight Freddy and the Dream Master. <laughs> this is the montage scene right here. She's getting ready, dude. We need a montage. <laughs> Even Julie had a montage. <laughs> oh, my God. That's, okay, a, I, actually, that's a choker. Yep. <laughs> yep. What, what's that? What, what's the rock for exactly, though? I don't follow that part. I don't she's, know. She's she a needs. putt. She's turning herself into a putty. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she's turning, like, part of her body is actually turning into Clayface from Batman, the animated series. She can, like, make uh, weapons out of her body parts now. I'd be pissed to be one of those putties that got, you know, like, a spike for a hand and a big old ball for a hand. Oh, absolutely. Fuck you, Finster. What am I supposed to do with this? Why did Riverman leave the the safety of the of the room? And did did the other did the kid put a sock or a tie on the door because he was gonna bang his dead girlfriend and the Riverman's that polite that he actually went out there? And how would that guy know that the Riverman knows where the girl's at at all? <laughs> I don't know. Did they see Riverman or was Riverman hiding in the tunnel at the time when they I showed don't up? No. You're dying. We've, we've, went, we've been over this, Mogo. You were bit, and you probably yeah. caught something. We just just had this discussion in the car. And you chose vengeance and revenge over getting better. Bad call. Put that gun away, or I'm going to lay some pipe. Takes the sunglasses off. How many times I gotta tell you, Uncle? I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> What's he? What, what was? <laughs> was he River striking the, the pipe against the wall? Riverman's has... not even attempting to help. Why do they need to isolate? Why do they need to do anything to him? He's the All he did was said once, it. "Leave him alone." Yeah. What a night, man. What a night. The wonderful Wizard of Oz. Again, with the crouching. The ceiling is, like, really high. Crouching, dead girl, hidden zombie. <laughs> is that necessary? That strutting? The, the director's like, more sexy from the zombie. Sex here, sex here. That's the stuff right there. I have a hard time thinking that this look wasn't inspired from uh, Michelle Pfeiffer and Catwoman just a little bit because these movies came out kind of around the same time. Oh, yeah. Where did she get everything? That I mean, I know it's the sewer and shit, but would there really be all that stuff just laying around? No, <laughs> there wouldn't be. God, she's got like glass just out of what? her shoulders, man. It didn't even knock him out. It's like... I mean, she was a masochist, Josh, before she even took on this role, though, because she took on this role. Exactly. She saw the script and said, this is a good idea. Yeah, this is a starring vehicle. This is probably going to propel my uh, career in the, you know, the stratosphere. Let's do it. Did she know there was a fight coming, and that's why she attached a rock to her hand? I don't know. This guy is just full of bad decisions. Instead of helping his friend, they go to search these people down. He knows she's the one who bit his friend. Now he wants to have sex with said rabies-infected dead girl. He just wants to look at her pierced tits instead of... Yeah, you know what? 
that guy's the ultimate wingman. Yeah, that he, yeah, go go right don't there. try to rape the woman with spikes sticking out of 90% of her body. That's going to end well for you. <laughs> he but seriously though, he's like, "All right, we were trying to kick your ass and find you all night. If my friend wants to nail your dead girlfriend, I've got his back." <laughs> we need a wingman like that in our lives. Right? He's da- seriously, he's down for anything. Poor River, man. He's had it almost as bad as Mark did. Okay, now he's had it just as bad as Mark almost. Totally un- yeah, totally unnecessary to shoot him right there. Okay, if your buddy looks like that, I don't think that shaking him is going to fix him. He was, he was just, he looked okay a second ago. Now he's like covered in like putty and makeup. Well, hey, I'm going to guess Riverman doesn't have insurance. So this is a bad situation for him, doubly. Felipe, something's wrong with Mogo. His, around his eyes is like grown. I gave him head. Yeah, she, she's about ready to give them head, actually. What does everybody want? <laughs> Not whatever he got. I bet you like three slashaholics get that reference that I just said. <laughs> Al Snow, I got you. What does everybody need? To get the fuck out of this sewer. <laughs> that dude's like, okay, Oklahoma City sounds fine. I knew I needed this rock for something. Yeah, what for effect? Once you get shot. <laughs> All right, so the rock was for bashing. You were right, Josh. You're stoned. Pucker up. Oh hell. She could just give some one liners, it would just be perfect. Some of the spe- some of the practical effects in this are very good. You can run, but I'll rip your hide. It's, well, like it's almost like they had two different people oh. doing the effects. That was that was hardcore. Yeah, it's kind like, of inconsistent. In the, be- in the beginning of the movie, when the first guy got his head blown off, it was awful. Like one of the cops, and now it's just like impeccable. Why is that girl acting? She doesn't seem like she just had giant gashes. Scrape down her leg. <laughs> I know. She is tough as nails, man. Even even getting her throat ripped out, she's not even like full full on <laughs> screaming. She's not selling uh, it at all. Uh, uh, she would be an awful wrestler. You need to sell more, damn it. Come on, sell. I'm walking up right even though my spine is not attached. <laughs> How is he still able to speak? His neck is ripped out. He doesn't have a throat anymore. How's he standing up with his spine ripped off? Yeah, this is this is ridiculous. Talking River zombies. Man's like, River man's like, I still have a feeling I'm getting eaten at some point. I'll help you out. I've been able to suspend belief up until this point. Up I'm, until I'm this, done. everything else I'm is done. okay. But yeah, Mexican done. talking zombie, that's just too far fetched. Let that dead essay out, Holmes! This guy's gonna show up. Shit! We forgot the hose, or it's like two feet too short. <laughs> that guy looked like he was nailing like a child. One and two and three and four and pound, pound, pound and lock the door. Now she wants tied up. She really is kinky. Oh, man. Where is there a hardware store in that room somewhere? Like, she just keeps... She is so good at just coming up with random shit from nowhere. Maybe she had it in her purse or something. I don't know. They hammer that door shut and there's like another door right next to it. Uh, meanwhile, Riverman is just absolutely bleeding out. He got shot right in the side. That's a bad place to get shot. Tie me up. The piercings aren't doing it for me anymore. What's he spitting out? Wait, he's got an extendo spine now? He can, like, move it up and down? Ooh, he's got nothing now. Go, go, gadget head. 
<laughs> da, 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 Inspector Zombie. Da, 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 Woohoo! Da, 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 shitty movies. Yeah, where was Penny and Brain when we needed them? Brain. <laughs> he's, he's fucked. Yeah, he's, yeah, he stays but... away from zombie movies. Oh? Wait, Brain that... always... Brain always looked like the dog on Duck Hunt to me. I think there's like two hands more than there should be there. We're um, helping hands. <laughs> <laughs> she chose down. Because I know you so well and I'm willing to give my life up for you. It took the one guy who got bit in the convenience store the entire movie to turn. But it took the other three gang members 15 seconds. Walking Dead rules. Yeah, zombie math is way off here. Yeah, go get my zombie girlfriend out of here. She's hungry. I mean, she needs your help. She's definitely, definitely not going to eat you. Why does she need to be carried? She doesn't feel tiredness <laughs> or like, why is he carrying her? Let her ass walk. Right? She doesn't she doesn't get tired. She's dead. Her feet weren't tied up, just her hands. Yeah. Plus her mouth isn't even strapped up. yet. Seriously. This is a bad call, Riverman. He backed himself into a corner. <laughs> yeah, actually literally. <laughs> literally. The meth super lab is below all that. It's gonna hit a button. He looks like he's in the boiler room of Freddy's Revenge right now. Where's a cheap Meryl Streep knockoff when we need her? <laughs> is, what is his Not name? so fast, Curtis! Ex exactly. Is his name Jesse? It's Curtis. Oh, it's Curtis. Damn it. <laughs> I would have... Well, I'm going to call him Jesse. <laughs> yeah, he, you're Jesse now, Curtis. I'm going to kick ass and take names and give those names to people whose asses I've kicked. <laughs> What's your name, Curtis? You're Jesse now. <laughs> well, the Riverman knew he was going to get eaten eventually. So, Riverman... Okay, Curtis is responsible. This, this, Riverman's blood is on Curtis's hands. Yeah, Riverman was going to stay behind so he could get her to safety. Yes. He, he allowed this. You know, Julie, you, you've been doing a lot of shit I, I'm not really happy with. You know, I think, I think we need to break up. You're going to scream him to death? <laughs> what the hell is that wall made out of? Cardboard? Exactly. It's like a centimeter thick. The city only had enough money to spring for drywall. One sheet of it. <laughs> Hit me, baby, one more time. That, that looks like drywall. That's what that looks like. That door yeah. was made out of. They put one sheet of drywall below ground. Put the hose up. Oh, <laughs> gee, I, for, I knew I forgot something. You're going to send me to Oklahoma City for sure. Oh, my God. <laughs> Pump I knew up. it. Shit. Pump the hose up. Oh, my God. See, I told you I was going to see my son. <laughs> Is that zombie stuck on half the wall or something? Did they already reload it? I thought we found out at the beginning that this stuff wasn't effective. <laughs> yeah, why did they bring the ineffective gun that takes forever to load? How they must have fixed the process already because he shot three bullets in the last like ten seconds. What, what the fuck is the hose hooked up to? <laughs> Would, you would Kurt, Kurt, bitch, you tried to give him a hand job on a motorcycle without a helmet. Would Kurt go to prison for breaking, like going into the military facility and using? No. He, the security gave him clearance because he was going to see his dad. Yeah, pro, you you know what? You're probably right. That would hold up. If he, yep, that's that's all he would need to do. All right, that you're that makes sense. I apologize to the Slashaholics for even questioning that plot point. <laughs> it's my fault. I shouldn't have done it. I guess they don't freeze until they let go. Emotionally. They have to let go emotionally <laughs> first. 
She looked like. Um, <clears throat> have you ever seen the rap, the rap song Crossroads, the music video? Yes. Yeah. Okay, when Death shows up when he's playing checkers on the porch with his nephew and Death touches him and his eyes go dead, you know, like, that's kind of what it looked like for me. Yeah. He still looks like he needs to go to the bathroom. He's had a hell of a night, man. I have a hard time believing that he's actually in the military, though, because I see zero red underneath his shirt. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But I've always needed me when you've been there. I don't know what I'm saying, son. Listen. Now that Julie's out of the picture, we can return to the way things used to be. You I don't need you her, son. You have me. <laughs> you need to give Oklahoma City some more thought. I mean, they have a <laughs> basketball team now. The Oklahoma City Thunder. Have you heard of them? He's talking to Riverman. Oh, okay. That would have been fun. And there's his head. Not wet and looks like it's healing in less than an hour. She's probably going to get cold packed by the whole team, but that's okay, son. That's what we do here. We're not actually the military. <laughs> just the, we're just a kinky underground sex place. What's going to happen to Julie? Well, <clears throat> full disclosure, son, I'm going to be honest with you. We are going to cut her arms off, and that lady right there is going to take a Makita to him. That old man's like, okay, I'm getting too old for this shit. They just let him wander off again after all the shit he's pulled. I'm going to see my dad. Yeah, uh-uh, that ain't going to fly this time. I see him back there. No, he no tells, my other dad. He tells his dad, I'm going to go see my dad. Oh, okay, go like, ahead. Okay, okay, sounds good. Hey, he's, he's, he's got the skills to take over for that security guard earlier that just walks around reacting to noises. He, this looks like the set of Carnosaur 2 a little bit. Did that guy just check him out? <laughs> yeah, you look like uh, you're the son of a general. Go ahead. Uh-oh, Paul's not at work that day. Oh, there's Paul. Get out of here. I need to cover the penis. <sighs> Everybody that works in this facility must be just an absolute raging alcoholic. How could you deal with this stuff day to day and not take it home with you? Oh, you know, I'm sure they take some of it home with them. How was your day today, honey? Uh, worked on a bunch of reanimated corpses again that wanted to escape from their chains and cock straps and eat me. It was a great day. <laughs> they just took his head. They just took his head and like put it on. How is it? How is it upright? <laughs> they must have put it in one of those little uh, jack in the boxes you get when you're a kid. Dunk, 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 dunk. Has that guy just been watching him this whole time? Yeah. How did he even get in there? Wasn't he looking through the window? Now he's in there. Okay. Are we in agreement that this guy's Paul? His whole yes. job is just covering up genitals. <laughs> the security guard told me that's your dad. Oh, his son's not even the general. He's a colonel. With the river man? Get there she, there she is. Driver out of my head. There she is with that freaking drill again. And he's got a chastity belt? What the fuck are they doing to these zombies? Well, zombies, she wants to keep his virginity intact. I guess so. Protect that zombie hymen. What is she doing? Why is there a bunch? Of, where is there an, a wrench set like a on the wall? <laughs> what are they doing with those? It's just somebody's tool shed. Yeah, get the boys that been experimenting on zombies in my tool shed. God, no sterilization. They're not even wearing gloves. Why does she look like a mix between Tina Fey and? Uh, Romy from Romy and Michelle's High School Reunion. She wishes she was both those people. How is Riverman feeling pain? He's dead. Black and in an exoskeleton. Man, he this guy's a total job is to deliver exposition. <laughs> His character name should be PP for plot point. 
I don't know. He said he was going to see his dad. Apparently, he, he wasn't honest. She walked right past him and let him go do whatever he wanted to do. She's a moron. She's, it's This is the fifth element all of a sudden. Check it out. It's her. Chris Tucker is actually the river man now. Exactly. They took out all my glass. God, will somebody please turn her into a zombie for the love of God? <laughs> I just hope the old Good. man does it because he was like awake from retirement. No, kill her look first. Hose, look at the hose. Please kill her. Phil. She's not going to die like that. Poor Paul. That exoskeleton apparently sucks ass. It's not a very good prototype. They've already established that they only test things the first time they test it, Josh. It's a point. It's it's important to the plot that she be naked, by the way. <laughs> Somebody needs to explain to Kurt that there's other fish in the sea. It's I mean, this guy is hung up on this dead girl. Oh, no, shoot the zombie again. You didn't say that. You just said shoot. <laughs> Don't. Hey, that looks like my room with that Master Evil keeps me in. Just darkness. That's a pretty cool effect, though. That arm thing. <laughs> Giant yellow button for open. <laughs> You know, he's kind of a selfish little bitch. If he hadn't done that, all the zombies would still be in their cages. Absolutely. You are 100% correct. You just can't get it up for living girls anymore, apparently. I know. Once you go dead, like that's it. Once you get into that kinky, kinky realm, there's no going back. Okay, can you... I don't think shooting limbs is working, so why do you keep doing that? <laughs> She's just as good with a shotgun as she is with a freaking Makita, apparently. Kill her! Her job is literally dealing, you know, experimenting on their limbs, so... What the hell? Is that like a nail salon person? Was that, was that uh, Martin Lawrence Shanene there? No, that was the lady who grew her nails out for, like, 50 years. That was from the Guinness Book of World Records. They won't, they won't open the door. I need to see my dad. And then the door opens. <laughs> oh, well, by all means, let's open the door then. <laughs> you said your dad, right? The colonel? Yeah, let's help the zombie that's trying to kill human beings. You never told him your name. He called you boy. The river man should be should remember and be pissed because Kurt's the one who got him into this in the first place. That's a famous actor. He got his own and credit, remember? Yeah. Oh my god. Wait a minute. That wasn't unlocked. He's got like the Kingdom Come Batman exoskeleton. Okay. If Riverman was an action figure, the suit would be sold separately. I can't nod my head back at you, but I would if I could. Get your cliche out of here. Not this lady again. That blood is, uh, yeah. How many shells are in this shotgun? It's, it's Herschel's shotgun from season two of Walking Dead. Yeah, she's got unlimited shells in here. She's got a movie clip. Good. That's the best, that's the best thing that happened this entire film. Thank God. As long as the old man lives so he can get his retirement next week and get his pension, I'm happy. I know. He is so close. He is literally, in the words of Danny Glover, too old for this shit. 
That's a confusing automated thing. Lockdown is commencing in zero thirty seconds. Is it zero or twenty? What the hell? Do I have time to get out? Well, they keep saying zero in front of the number, so actually it's sixty seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the mutants from Swamp Thing too. Oh, that's all you had to do was get locked down and forced. What? Did, why was there a timer then? And why is this military facility? Why is there a part of their lockdown protocol? Uh, like b barn grade, like cattle doors. They're gonna like grab a couple zombies, and you hear them beating them up, and they come out, and the zombies close. Yeah, you know. <laughs> The mall will be closing in 30 minutes. Please finish up your shopping and bring them <laughs> to the nearest register. Well, now I did it. Now it's going to be in the living girls. This is Dad girls this is, ain't going to do it for them anymore. Josh, this is a perfect example when your kink goes too far. Sure you can, son. Just say, I need to see you, Dad. So am I. Does he have a brain in his wrist? <laughs> his it looks brain like a is... brain in his wrist. No, Kurt. God damn you, Julie. Oh, now the colonel's dead because that fire extinguisher contained trioxin. <laughs> Is that what they use for fire extinguishers? <laughs> it looks exactly the same as the, the same other shit that reanimates the dead. Yeah. Damn, the colonel's dead now too. That would be really hot, babe. <laughs> that fire extinguisher is filled with trioxin. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite joke of slash track. I think that I've told. Everything is so, uh, you know, labeled so so clearly in this facility. Why doesn't he wait until he's fully turned before doing this so he doesn't feel it as much? I don't know. He's burning himself alive when he still has nerve endings. Oh, man. Yeah, this is going to be torturous. This is so hot, Curtis. You are, you are just too much, Julie. Well... They're burning themselves, so their bodies are going to turn into smoke and create more zombies. So, good, good job, Curtis. You did just a, a bang-up job. You're a great hero. He's been selfish the entire movie. He is the worst yeah. protagonist ever. Everything he's done has been selfishness. Just pure, pure selfishness. This what entire, an asshole. This entire disaster has been brought to you, in part, by Kurt's dick. <laughs> Uh, Julie's inability to uh, wait until she's not on a goddamn motorcycle without a helmet to get frisky. Well, we survived the movie and uh, we don't even have to deal with Master Evil. I mean, your lights are about to go out, so there's that. <laughs> but uh... <laughs> And I don't get to eat again today. Um, if you'd noticed, Josh, you actually pointed this out. In the earlier um, episodes of Slash Tracks, I am a lot bigger and i've i've progressively got thinner and thinner and that's not by accident he doesn't feed you no not not regularly at least i knew it riverman basil wallace i yeah. called it i called that shit <laughs> laboratory technician david wells who also what? pitched for the yankees at this point i wonder what lexi with two x's went zell is up to nowadays probably the same thing that alan wintgardner is doing nothing Adam Santelli. G. Impalo Diabole, second assistant camera. Oh, oh the man. grip swing. They got by Dial D. Cohen there. Yeah, he's and, like a he's like a cousin of the Cohen brothers. What the hell is the electric swing? <laughs> Some sort of sex device or sex torture rack? It's a swing you don't have to like self propel on. You just say it's electric. Oh, it's the electric swing for people who want to swing but don't want to actually get any exercise while doing it. Set construction by construction foreman carpenters. What? They've got a lot of people on 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 payroll here. How did they afford this? 
prosthetic effects for store owner and gang create. Yeah, it was it was two different people that did I knew the special it. effects. I man. told Three. you, I I Three. I am a genius. Good lord, four, five. <laughs> I knew it. It looked like it seriously looked like a different quality in the second half of the film. They 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 hired like five different teams for their special effects. Miniature supervisor David B. Sharp. Is he like My, a little bitty person or something? Yeah, exactly. He's a miniature supervisor. They He's couldn't like have paid this. They couldn't pay the full sized one, so they got the mini version. He's down there. I'm supervising this movie. <laughs> I'm in charge here. Everybody, pay attention to me. Color timer. You, you got to time your color. They got Ray Morfino for that. TBS casting. <laughs> hmm. All right, let's close the vault up and uh, chat until the lights go out. What do you say? Oh, was, hey, special good. thanks. Uh, yeah. The characters Coca and events depicted in this motion picture are fictional. Oh, Coca thank Christ. Coca-Cola, dude. Coca-Cola is involved with this picture. <laughs> that's, that's the biggest surprise of the entire film. Right? All right, let's go through the vault. Who would have thought it? He gave us a movie that wasn't horrible. Yeah, I, I actually didn't mind that. That was my Dr. Giggles, I think. Yeah, he kind of uh, let slip in his note what the next one is, though. What is it? We're going back to Carnosaur Land. <laughs> Uh, is it a double feature or is it just one? It's just one. Carnivore, Carnosaur three primal species. All right. Uh, I wonder how much reused footage they're going to have. Oh my um, God. Number two had a lot of reused footage. I can't imagine. And also <laughs> if, if we're going back to Carnosaur, at least we're going to be prepped because we were able to talk to the star of Carnosaur, Carnosaur two at one point. Yeah. I feel a little, I feel a little bit more mentally prepared to handle this one. <laughs> and it's episode 20. That's crazy. Uh, 20 episode episodes. 20? Yeah. That's a big one. 20, 20 uh, moments of captivity all caught on camera for Master Evil's enjoyment. And nobody's tried to rescue us yet. Yeah. Something to be celebrated, for sure. What if he's like at a Bible salesman convention or something? I mean, we're going to have to ask him some questions when he comes back. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm just guessing what? Evil Master Mama's Boy convention. Yeah, well, he might not even be at a convention at all. You said Bible salesman. Maybe he's at, like, your local community college handing out New Testaments. Maybe he's just a totally good guy when he's not, you know, effing with us. <laughs> he's just conflicted. He's like a serial killer. Like, we go, like, the reason we hadn't had an episode for a while was because he's just, he was just in his dormant phase. Oh. You know okay. what I mean? Okay. Yeah. And then he, he can't fight the urge anymore, and then he's got to get one good kill, and then he sends us a movie, you know? He's like the Ted Bundy of shitty horror movies. Yeah, he's the Ted Bundy of shitter horror cinema. What well, What if we uh, just do a really horrible job this season so we get canceled? Think we'd get to go home? Uh, it's not like we weren't trying to phone it in last season. It's not, you know <laughs> what I mean? Like, it's not like we really wanted to watch these films. You know, I don't think that's really a road we should go down again because then he just sends us even horse movies. Uh, Carnosaur Three being an example. I'm not exactly excited, huh? Raptor, which is part four is like nothing it has like 15 minutes of new footage and the rest of it is just clips from one two and three uh they, they put the, peop the people and the fresh footage in costumes resembling people's costumes from the past movies that's it <laughs> that's that's the movie there's a whole okay. scene that the whole remember the scene in the desert with the people in the jeep that get killed yes. by the rat that whole yeah, scene yeah. is the beginning of the movie of raptor <laughs> that's how the, the same movie people the same people ever, the same scene from carnosaur one that's oh the God. plot. That's what starts the movie. Yeah. Did that movie? Did that movie actually go to DVD? Raptor. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. Oh man, I would love to see the production budget and just to see how much they made because at that point, if they're really reusing all that footage, that cost nothing. Yeah, that had, that had to cost, cost nothing. nothing. That had to have cost nothing. And it's got uh, Julia Roberts' little brother in it, or older brother. Older Eric, brother. Ro Eric Roberts. Yeah, he's in it. Yep. From best to the best, Eric Roberts. <laughs> uh, we. Sh we should do a whole podcast on Eric Roberts and just thank him for having, you know, Emma Roberts because she is beautiful. Yeah. She's thank a great Eric actress Roberts. too. Yeah. Slashaholics salute you. <laughs> All 
Well, all right, man. I guess we're going to make it out of here without uh, Master Evil popping in. So, uh, all right. Have fun in the dark. I will. I will. Hey, God bless. Mahalo. Yep. We'll see you next time. See Thanks for watching, everybody. What up, Josh? What up, Alex? Slash track. What's going on? I'm busting in the damn head. See you guys.